Good evening, everybody. It's been a while. Haven't done a video because pretty much everything's going sideways. Consolidation, and I really didn't want to have to do this video. I didn't think I'd have to, but if you're of a liberal bent or supporter of the current administration, you probably want to turn it off. Because I don't really care anymore or what they think or what any platform thinks. I will be as nice and pragmatic as possible. Pragmatic as possible. But, anyway, let me go over a few of the charts real quick first before I get into that. What I wanted to say. Uh, uh. Looking at uh, Bitcoin, last few days has really not been doing anything. We're consolidating. We did hit forty-nine thousand yesterday. We hit forty-nine thousand today, and this is this is good. This is good. There's no big drops. There's no big dips. There's no big upswings. That's good. Keeps everything calm and level, and that's exactly what you know, happens when you have people and institutions that know how to buy and buy right. You don't have these massive swings. So, you know, there we go. Bitcoin, ADA, Link, Chainlink, Ethereum, Polkadot. We're having a little bit of a down dip right now, which, you know, it's not... Look, it's just not going to go... If it goes down to 42, buy, okay? Please buy. It's just what it is. So looking at uh, Bitcoin on the seven day, we're up eight percent. Ethereum six percent. ADA twenty six percent. Polkadot six percent. Almost seven. Polygon almost twelve. Eleven and a half. Uh, Solera, Solano uh, one point eight. And then we got the other ones, the smaller ones down here. So we're hold, it's holding on. Uh, one hour, 24 hour, it's it's sideways. So, anyway. So, for transparency reasons, I've never liked Twitter. I've had a Twitter account since 2009. I probably made 10 or 20 posts in the whole 11 or 12 years. But, since my constituents are co-Bitcoiners or cryptocurrency people, that's the space they live in, right? So, I got on there and I enjoy it. There's a lot of Astro stuff on there that I like. And I find out a lot of stuff a lot quicker using Twitter than Facebook, any news source or anything like that. So, that's fine. But I don't like any of the censorship taking Kaylee McEnany, banning her account, banning people's accounts. That are speaking truth. You know, Jack, you know, I love the fact you're behind Bitcoin and everything, but what's up with this censoring crap? I don't know. So if you want to ban me or my videos, I don't really care because you don't mean anything to me, Jack. You don't mean Jack to me, Jack. And, uh, but, so anyway, last week I had a lightning strike. I lost about three or four thousand dollars worth of electronics, appliances, washing machine, dishwasher, cable boxes, computer network card, ethernet hub, security system, lost a lot of stuff. So, you know, I've been used to living without that stuff and making do, trying to get it all fixed and set up. So being in IT for so long, you know, it helps me a lot because I can deal with a lot of that. And, uh, in the day, of course, my air conditioner uh, overflow drain clogged up again, so I had to get up in the attic for four hours, and it's 100 degrees, and uh, I had to fix it, you know. I could have paid the guy $200 to come out and fix it, but why do it? I can do it myself. That's what I do. Uh, I mean, yeah, I've had tons of extra money, but I'm invested all in, and that's the whole point of this video. Okay. I have got on Twitter and met a lot of people in the crypto space, a lot of Astro. Love the Astro girls. Man, there's a lot of y'all out there. Uh, love that. But 
So anyway, I've been on Spaces and all the conferences they have every day. I get on Spaces and I listen to them. Okay, I'm a baby boomer. You know, I'm from the old school. These people, they they range in different ages. And there's a lot of millennial generation X, I guess it is, or Z. But I'm a baby boomer, okay? I have... Why do I have a say on what's going on in any of this stuff? Why? Because I have been researching Bitcoin since 2013, 14, 15, 16, bought in 2017, wrote all the hard, good times, wrote all the hard times, been through all of that. I've done it all. You know, and, and you have somebody like Michael Saylor, and I love him, and his analogy of finance and things like that but he's got tons of money he doesn't have to worry about little stuff like we do you know yeah put all your billions on an asset and, and crypto and watch it go up watch your stock go from 100 to 600 that's great for you but it's not so great for people like you and me so anyway you got this infrastructure bill and all this crap that's going on in dc it's a bunch of smoke and mirror shit and I'm listening to Spaces, and there's people on there capitulating to this. They're like giving up. I mean, it's not so much giving up, but they're giving in to everything but like Bitcoin is a base currency. They're giving in to the alts. They're giving in, oh, well, they're going to do this, they'll do that. There's nothing going to do about it. Look, if you're, you're either with it or you're not. There's no two sides about it. And why do I have something to say about that? Because... I've been in it a lot longer than most of you. I've been in it, bought into it longer than most of you. I've made the mistakes. I know what the mistakes are. I've done it all. And my credentials is 28 years in IT, working for Intergy Power Company in the southeast United States, covers part of Texas, 10 years. I worked at Baker Hughes as a global MPS manager for three years. That's global. And NASA in 2017 and 18 as system administrator. Uh, McKeeson Medical, Office 365 migrations for a year and a half. Harris County as network administrator, webmaster, disaster recovery specialist. Okay, I've got credentials. I don't need to explain it to anybody. So, look, these people, some of these people on Spaces are like capitulating and giving up. This is the whole point Michael Saylor has been making, is that this is the thing that can change everything. And you're either with it or you're not. So if you're not fully committed, fully on board, and you're going to talk like that, then get off the freaking social media take your crypto and your bitcoin and go off somewhere and enjoy it or whatever you're going to do but don't get on there you're not politicians you're not making policy you're not going to change anybody's mind you said it yourselves being on there the weekend before the big house vote had no effect on anything at all so look i don't want to hear y'all talk like that you know I can leave. I can go off and be by myself like I have been for the last seven, eight years with Bitcoin and crypto because I knew what it was. And as Michael said, well, I'm not going to do that. I mean, look, I've owned eight rent houses. I bought eight houses in 2006, 2013. I bought gold and silver. I mean, I've done all the things, real estate, commodities, you know, stocks, things like that. This is the real deal. So, buck up, buttercup, or get out, or go away. So, will they ever have me on to talk about it in my experiences? Probably not. I'm too old or something. Well... Afraid not. So, look, it really irritates me to sit there and get on and listen to people that are supporting 
what I've been supporting for five, eight, ten years and sit there and have doubts about it. There is no doubt about it. You're either with it or you're not. And if you're with it, you're going to support the Constitution. You're going to support things we believe in. And we're going to run with it. You're going to die or not die with it. That's my feeling. Sorry. And, you know, I'm going to have to get political on these things. And, you know, try to straighten some people up on some uh, paradigms that they have. Because... Man, I just can't listen to talk like that. Anyway, I don't know what it is with people that don't get it. I really don't. I mean, when you've got it for so long, I mean, I don't try to even tell anybody about it because they don't freaking get it. And you know what's going to happen to those people? Anyway, don't be scared of legislation, don't be scared of regulators, and, and don't let them scare you off of this path. If you do, you're not in the club. You're not in my club. Alright, God bless everybody. Sorry, but it's got to be said. Go Strohs.